Livestock rearing like dairy, goat tree, piggery and poultry are important livelihood options for rural farmers, second to only agriculture in India. One of the challenges affecting livestock rearing is the disease burden which directly impacts the income of the farmers. In the year 2022, the cattle population came under severe attack from a virus borne disease known as lumpy skin disease, LSD. LSD is highly contagious disease, characterized by symptoms like high fever, multiple lumps on the skin caused by enlarged lymph nodes and swelling of the limbs. The disease causes a sharp drop in milk yield, along with occasional sterility, abortion in pregnant cows and the death of the infected animal. Rajasthan was badly hit by LSD, where 15 lakh cattle were affected. Sirohi was one such heavily affected district. Lumpy bimari aayi vidho gaye dud kam dido, kam poydun. Par mor sab ghar ghar so haar dud maatha eddo. Tam karta karta ba ba doctor ba vidyan. Tab ilaaj hai khati karama me pasai. लंफी स्किन डिजीज गोवंश की वायरस जनित बीमारी थी जो एक पशु से दूसरे पशु में मुख्यतः संक्रमण जू चिचड़िया किलनी और मच्छरों से फैल रहा था अप्रतिबंधित आवाजाही से भी पशुओं में इस बीमारी का संक्रमण हो रहा था चारागाह और पानी पीने की वजह से पशुओं में बीमारी फैलती थी ये तय था कि टाटा ट्रस्ट की आजीविका परियोजना क्षेत्र सिरोही को सी टीम की परियोजनाओं से लाभ होगा इन योजनाओं में पशुओं की आवाजाही पर नियंत्रण तथा व्यापार एवं खुले चराई पर रोक पशुओं में टीकाकरण एवं उपचार शिविरों का आयोजन किया गया था इसके अलावा मवेशियों के शवों का प्रबंधन और जैव सुरक्षा उपायों पर जागरूकता और लगातार निगरानी रखी गई द टाटा ट्रस्ट टीम इमीडिएटली मेट विद एनिमल हजबेंड्री डिपार्टमेंट local panchayati raj institutions representatives and organized meetings with the farmers and para workers and last mile service delivery personnel the pashu sakhi is to implement these interventions yaar sankramit aur sankramit pashu ko alag rakhne ke liye protocol ka palan karte hue kisano ko alag se shed banane ki salah di apne dushit shed kapdon va upkaranon ka kit nashak dwara upyog kaise kare the team worked with the indian veterinary research institute to train volunteers field staff and para veterinarians systems were set up to ensure regular follow up visits to the animals who had been treated and to make the farmers aware of ethno veterinary practices which could combat the disease without expensive medication in bimariyon ke sath sath jo logon mein galat afwahein phaili thi unko rokne ka bhi team mein kaam kar rahi thi zyada tar ye afwahein chal rahi thi ki gaay ka doodh peene se insaan bimar hota hai ki isko rokne ke liye bhi team ne kai prakar ke karya kiye tatha लोगों को गुमराह होने से बचाए फील्ड लेवल मीटिंग्स वर कंडक्टेड व्हिच हेल्प्ड इन स्प्रेडिंग द करेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन एज अ रिजल्ट देयर वाज मार्क्ड इंप्रूवमेंट इन द प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स अडॉप्टेड बाय द कम्युनिटी उनके बीमारी आई भी इंदर जाने धीरे-धीरे पशु मादे सुधार हुआ ये संस्थाएं बहुत मदद की थी और आए बचाव हारो और बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद After September 2022, LSD finally started showing signs of decline in the project area, making the effort of all the volunteers, stakeholders a success. There is need to recognize the potential for emergence of diseases in future also. There is climate change, there is rapid urbanization, there is deforestation. All these factors are leading to close interactions between humans and animals. which increases the risks for emergence of diseases and the small and marginal farmers they are highly vulnerable especially economically because they are dependent on the livestock for their livelihoods as well as food security and nutrition it is very imperative that we have social programs which deal with community awareness as well as take care in prevention and curative approaches as and when required 
In order to continue combating the onslaught of these, we need to join hands in partnership to help our thriving farming community in India not only face disease outbreaks but also achieve greater economic growth.